Meanwhile, the faces are young and the message is clear as five survivors of the Parkland, Florida shooting appear on the newest Time magazine cover behind one defiant word. Enough. It's now called the Never Again Movement, and there's a growing list of stars who will join students in numerous marches right across the United States tomorrow, all in support of gun control. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for everything you're doing. Ellen shows her support and admiration this week for two Parkland survivors turned, in their opinion, accidental activists. We're grieving and we're trying to be heard. Like, I didn't think that the title was even deserved. Even now, it feels strange to be told that we're inspirations or anything. Among their admirers is George Clooney. In a letter to the students today in the UK's Guardian newspaper, guest edited by a group of Parkland survivors, George writes, Amal and I are 100% behind you and we'll be marching in DC on the 24th, but we both feel very strongly that this is your march, your moment. He ends the letter with, you make me proud of my country again. Along with the Clooney's, Amy Schumer, Alyssa Milano, Laura Dern, Connie Britton and Jason Alexander have said they'll be marching in D.C. and L.A. tomorrow. There will be performances, too, with Ariana Grande, Jennifer Hudson, Miley Cyrus, and Demi Lovato expected to take the stage. And revealing she's donated to the march, Taylor Swift Instagram today writing, no one should have to go to school in fear of gun violence. I find that T-Swift comment kind of surprising, actually, because, you know, she usually chooses to refrain from making any type of political statement. It's true. In fact, Taylor's been criticized in the past on several occasions for not speaking up. So maybe this is the movement she wants to lend her voice to. Okay, now to trending tonight, another supporter of the movement, Justin Bieber, who tweeted out, proud of these kids, with the March for Our Lives poster. Justin's name has also been making the rounds after Bill Hader and Jay Farrow stopped by Watch What Happens Live and were asked who the worst behaved host or a musical guest ever was on SNL. We both know, dog. Yeah, it was Bieber. Right. Yeah, Bieber. It was Bieber. Was, Bieber was, yes. yeah. We talked on Stern about that. Yeah, Bieber was, uh, yeah, he just was in a bad place. Maybe, yes. maybe he's in a better place, but right. then he was in a very, it was rough. <laughs> Poor JB. In his defense, mm -hmm. that was back in 2013. He was on the Believe World Tour, and Bill Hader said he just seemed exhausted from I, it I, all. I, I believe that, but he did also mention the fact that, like, Justin's entourage filled the entire stage. You know, there was a guy there whose sole job <laughs> was to hold Justin Bieber's pizza slice. Slice holder. Yeah. yeah. All right. And meanwhile, our Royal Watch.